Hey everybody, so for today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the best fish to target on Golden Ridge Reserve, the base map for beginners. And we're really going to be looking at the beginner rods that you'll get. So first we're going to go into the store here and we're going to take a look at the beginner rod. So the hey, rod it's that- me, I, the yep, shopkeeper with the great deals. It, yep, that it is you. Hello. Get your gear Hi. here. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I was doing. Thank you. Um, sorry. So the beginner rod that everybody starts with is the green horn. So for the green horn, that's what everybody gets. It's teeny tiny. The max line strength is 2.2 pounds. So any fish over 2.2 pounds is gonna be a pretty good fight for you. So that's gonna be one of the ones that we're gonna look at and what fish are good to catch on the green horn. Then we're also gonna look here at the maiden rod. And that max line strength is 4.41 pounds. So it's about double that strength. So that is, those are the two rods that we're going to be looking at and what fish to really go after for those. So we go here, we'll go to our map, and then we'll go to our handbook, and we'll look at the fish species first. So really, a first on the list, the bluegill. You know, I've got a gold bluegill, 1.53 pounds. So a diamond's not going to be too much bigger than 1.53 pounds so that's going to be a great fish to target when you're on uh that beginner rod even the second rod that you get and they like blood worm red worm hot dog if you look down here you see all that and then the crappie are the next ones on the list and they're also a great one to target you got minnows grub tube great fish next one is the perch the perch teeny tiny gold 1.76 diamond's not going to be much bigger than that and then we'll go to dun, 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 the green sunfish. That's another great one to target. Again, gold weight, not even a pound. Diamond's not going to be much bigger than that. Awesome fish to go for right off the bat to get you some good XP, good money, good source of leveling. And then top it off, the mountain white fish. Diamond is 3.94 pounds. Even on the beginner rod, if you land a diamond, it's going to be a fight. But you're going to be able to reel it in. Again, eggs, breadworm, bread, bloodworm, breadworm, 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 no. So, great fish. You know, go back here. Bloodworm, breadworm, hot dog, minnow, grub, tube. They also, if you click tab here, bloodworm is their fourth. So, you could also put on a bloodworm and, and get crappie as well pretty regularly. So, that's a good one. Bloodworm is a great thing. Honestly, with all these blood worms, all these small fish, blood worms are a great, great option. Blood worm, blood worm, blood worm is all number one for these small fish. And for the crappie, blood worms number four, which is not bad at all. And then you go down here to the mountain white fish, eggs, bread, blood worm. Again, blood worms are going to be a great bait to just have on hand. For the first 10 levels or so I cannot stress that enough now now that we kind of know where to go for these what we're gonna do is go to our map Old Clay is a nice guy. and kind and of see exactly even. where on the map he these species are this on his own and that just isn't true okay this park is just the yeah best oh yeah secret, I think so. Ooh, that okay helping? yep no I'll just um no thanks for the conversation I was I was talking but I'll just, it's okay. Uh, nope, you're fine, thanks. All right, so we'll move away so she doesn't eat. There's still more to buy. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, all right, uh-huh. No, she's great, she's great, very helpful. Um, so we'll go to the map here, and uh, I don't know why I should turn, the warden will pop, I should turn the, I, it's fine, it's fine, no. It'll be part of the video, it'll be great. I could edit it out, I could, but I'm not going to, because I think Sophia, in the warden are integral parts of the game and uh sometimes whenever you're just sitting there staring at a floating bobber they're the only things going on so i appreciate them but um anyway back to where to start in both this map and the beginner map they always put some of the small fish right at the starting outpost here if you fish anywhere along the banks around your starting outpost all in these little shallow areas here you're gonna find crappie you're gonna find you're gonna find sunfish, you're gonna find these little fish, you're gonna find perch all in this area here. And then uh, what you can also do, just follow it down, 
you're gonna find all the way through here. I believe there's also bluegill in and around here too. Up here's great for small fish. And this little like uh, lumber mill here, you're gonna find crappie, sunfish, bluegill up here. Then if you come over to this lake here, all these lilies that are in this area here, great place for uh, perch. I think diamond perch and diamond crappie spawn in this area quite a bit. And then as far as bluegill goes, the best bluegill fishing is in the desert area. If you come down here, there's bluegill here, bluegill up. I think there's bluegill in here, here. This is a diamond bluegill lake. This I uh, called the arrowhead lake. Diamond bluegill spot right here. Boom. And then down on this side too. Lots of diamond bluegill caught out of here. So that's a good spot. And then the sunfish are all over here too. I've seen a lot of gold sunfish pulled out of this area right here. So those are some good spots on the map to try. Again, all around the beginner outpost for those small fish. These lakes up here for your perch and for your um, crappie. Then I believe this is just channel. That's not just channel guys. There's more there. But this lake here, a lot of sunfish and yellow perch. I've not caught anything but sunfish and perch out of this little lake right here another good spot i've got gold out of there too and then this little tiny little lake right here also good for sunfish crappie perch great for those tiny small beginner fish if you are struggling with you know like larger fish like pike and you're like oh my gosh i got another silver pike on and i fight it for 45 minutes and then you know you're just tired of it try this little tiny lake right here you're not going to get a little, this is more of like a little pond, a little puddle of water here, but you're going to get small fish out of there. And then it's a little bit of a hike, but then come up to this one. Same thing. That's going to be nice and easy for you. You'll, you'll be able to pull a lot of small fish out of it. You're going to get good XP, especially on that beginner rod or the second rod that you get. Good, good spots for them. But those are really the species I would target the most. Again, the bluegill the crappie, the perch, the sunfish, and the mountain whitefish. As far as the mountain whitefish, let me just double check on the map. I don't have the best spots for the mountain whitefish. I caught my diamond mountain whitefish up here looking for sidewinder. Total accident, don't know how common that is, and it's probably changed since the update. I'm sure the fish spawns have moved around, so I don't wanna say that's a good diamond spot, but I have caught a diamond whitefish here. Um, these, these shallow high altitude ponds are usually great for whitefish. All these things here, mountain whitefish, the high altitude, the small high altitude ponds are all going to be filled with mountain whitefish. So got those over here. There's a lot of mountain whitefish down here and these ponds, mountain whitefish down there. Tiny little specks of water, good for mountain whitefish. Again, high elevation, shallow ponds, tons of mountain whitefish. Going to love them there. But I think that's really all I've got. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any good diamond locations, let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear it. If you have some more suggestions, if there's like a really good pond for any of these fish, just love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see what you guys have all found. Also, these two lakes here, very good for small fish. But that's really it. You know, I'm seeing lakes. I'm like, you know what? That one's good. That one's good. But honestly the fishing is good everywhere but those are some really good spots to start off and target when you're first starting out um, when you get into the bigger bodies of water like this and like this you are going to have to deal with the bigger fish that's just part of the game as you level up you'll get bigger tackle you'll be able to handle them no problem but anyway thank you for watching thank you for joining me leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you in the next one